Hello everyone, I'm Never Dot. Welcome to... Sorry a minute. I just got new lights. Let me just turn them on in a second. <gasps> oh, there we go. All right, do I look better now? More high def. Uh, I've also upgraded my camera, so hello for that. Uh, I'm sorry about the absence. I just wanted to get you up to date on what I've been doing, you guys. Uh, recently, this past year, uh, I've been working on my fourth book. Um, it's called down the dark well and that's in the worlds within series so that's following up on the previous book run monster run and i've just got my my proofs uh, these are color proofs that i'm working on and just checking to see how things look on printed paper because when you're designing digitally on the screen, all the colors are much brighter and more vibrant and have better contrast uh, than the colors you'll get uh, when you have a piece of paper in front of you. So just looking at these and it looks pretty good. Uh, that's that's fine. Oh yeah, blank page there. Yeah, the white really shines through on that one. Uh, look good enough. I'll send it off to the printers shortly. So this book is coming soon, as soon as I have the nerve to send it off to the printer uh, and get the words and text finalized, editing all through. It's looking pretty good though. I'm really excited and I hope you guys can get it in hand whenever I get it out to you. <laughs> now, last year I was working on in October busily working on a Christmas book and this Christmas book was not for me actually it was not for Neverdot although Neverdot was sort of the illustrator for it and I was tasked with providing the illustrations for a children's book in China so they commissioned me to do the illustrations for actually a sort of like it's not called open source what do you call it when it's books public domain so as a public domain book you might have heard probably not actually it was written in the 20th century uh, by what is it Frank L. Baum L. Frank Baum <laughs> uh, the adventures the life and adventures of Santa Claus so it was a story about how Santa Claus came to be Santa Claus and this is it so you can get it from your local well not definitely not local actually <laughs> from your China bookstore uh, it is a perfect consistent telling of that book from so long ago is written in 1902 which is wow it's more than 100 years old so definitely public domain nobody has to pay anybody for copyright uh, but I got the chance to write it and illustrate it not write it just illustrate it um, but going into it I didn't know how to approach it and I was kind of worried that it was going to be a boring Christmas Santa story so like you know just your average you know Santa Claus on the back there with his you know Christmas tree and everything and I didn't exactly want to do a, a book of that because I like doing creative things and really wild artwork and stuff like that so a little hesitant to take on a third-party project that I didn't really have any control over but then I read this book and it was a really old book of course um, but I read through it and I found out that this book written in 1902 was pretty interesting actually and it has a really weird story that I wasn't expecting. Uh, I took twists and turns for Santa Claus that stopped falling over uh, that I was really not anticipating. And it really gave me a lot of leeway uh, to do some illustrations. So maybe I'll find a... So for one thing, I got to illustrate Santa not as a fat old man, which was great. Uh, he's a thin, skinny man with great brown hair and I think, I don't know, green eyes or something. And he's a young guy so you know it takes you from the the early days so it starts off in the early days of santa claus with just him being a baby uh yeah that's naked santa there sorry about that that you had to see that um but it really takes some odd turns uh because this story has a lot of creatures in it and monsters and things and stuff that i was not anticipating uh getting to illustrate and i really do like it so let me find you this is one of my nice fun pages that i got to do so uh santa's being attacked by some evil spirits i think and the book kind of has a sort of a narnia-esque vibe to it which didn't know that that story existed didn't know the history of santa claus was so varied and detailed um, but you guys can check it out. Uh, you can read it freely online because it's not under any kind of copyright. So uh, the Life and Adventures of Santa Claus, give it a read. My illustrations will not be in the ones that you find because obviously I just did it. Uh, if you want it in China, then here's the title. You can go look it up. There's the ISBN number if you want to dig it out of however you can get that. Uh, so I'm very happy and proud to have been able to provide the artwork for that. 
which makes me even more happy to be able to get this stuff out to you. So dark, what is this? Down the Dark Well will be coming to you. I'm really hoping to get this done uh, for 2019 uh, so that it's available by January <laughs> or Christmas if I really hurry. Uh, but I'm not going to promise that. Uh, but uh, all the artwork's done and all the story is done. So it just needs to really be proofed and composed for submission to the printer. Uh, I can give you a rundown of that in a future video. But it's really fun to be able to do these books. It's a lot of hard work. Uh, I am actually looking forward to being finished with this book so that I can work on some other little projects that I've been thinking about uh, and maybe getting some more stuff, interesting stuff to you guys. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe in my newsletter doing some sort of lore updates. Uh, I haven't done that before. So just telling you guys more about the Never.World World because uh, the Never Dot comic is actually supposed to be not just doing gags uh, that is its primary purpose of course i'm not very good at it because i'm not that funny but uh it's also supposed to build the world so if you look at the background and everything of the comics uh, you'll sometimes see little bits and pieces that tell you a little bit about the world um, and that you can maybe if you're really diligent piece it together and sort of find stuff out that i'm not telling you uh, and that i explore in the books and hopefully when I get many books down the road, uh, if I ever get to that point, uh, I'll be able to tell a much broader story. And I would really like to do long form uh, fiction for you guys, like have chapter books, like young adults or old adults, whatever, whoever wants to read it, uh, style novels uh, that you could read because that would be fantastic. I love building worlds and telling stories. So all of this works together as one. And most of the comics are considered canon uh, for these, this world. There's a few that definitely are not. <laughs> Most of the early ones. The one with the talking cat is not canon. <laughs> or the talking bird. Definitely not canon. The cat's not canon because it doesn't have any knee joints. And I hate drawing it because I can't really pose it properly because it just has stubs for feet. And I don't like that. <laughs> and cats don't talk in the world. So that comic's out. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for popping in for this video. I'll try to get back more often now that I'm a bit more free. And also I appreciate that it's becoming winter and not as super hot because uh, this costume is very hot. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Bye. On. I mean, off. No. Off. Takes a while to adjust. Give it away. Off. Give it. Ah. You. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for popping in to have a listen to what I was doing and why I was abandoning you so rudely. I do apologize, and I hope that I can return back and entertain you more and maybe do a lot of random weird things um i look forward to seeing you again although i don't typically see you through my camera doesn't work both ways i will look into that see you guys next time bye <laughs>